Hi, this is Craig Tanner for the Radiant Vista Daily Critique. This image was submitted by Thomas, and Thomas is an advanced photographer from Louisiana. The first thing that gets my attention about this image, and the thing that I like the most about it, is the real strong sense of rhythm and repetition that it has. When I first look at the image, my mind's eye goes to the area of highest contrast, which is this snag on the beach. And after I go there, in a lot of the places in the image where I look, I see repetitions of the shapes and ideas there. Part of this snag is a real strong diagonal line, and right across from it, a counterpoint to it, you get a very strong diagonal line of foam, and that sets up a real powerful rhythm right when I look at the image. And then some of the shapes that are in between the real dark parts of the snag, like these shapes, are repeated in this larger shape that the foam is making. And that's a real powerful repetition. When you get over to the left-hand side of this snag and you look at what's happening with the shapes in the foam over here again, there are real strong repetitions and connections uh, between the way the wave is breaking in front of the snag and the snag itself. And when you look out beyond the initial foreground and look into the middle ground, there's a really nice repetition of the middle ground. And then if we look in other areas of the image, there are also some real nice repetitions. If you look at uh, one of the strongest shapes in the sky, which is this shape right here, it plays off of the shape of the breaking wave and the leading edge of it. And the more subtle shapes in the clouds are really all doing the same thing. Even this real high contrast cloud that's sitting at the top of where the sun is trying to break through what looks like low fog, it's also forming a really beautiful rhythm or repetition with both this line and the feeling of this line in one space being fairly straight. The image also has a real classical layout in terms of rule of thirds and golden mean. We've got about two-thirds of the water and beach and a third sky. The sun, which is one of the most powerful subjects in the image, is right on a third and right on one of the power points in the image. And you also have a pretty strong feeling of rule of thirds down here in the bottom part of the image, just in terms of where this part of the shape is breaking and how it lines up with the middle ground. So a, a very powerful feeling of moving in a circle in the middle of the image. When I think about wanting to change the image, there are only a couple of things that I think about if I want to change it to improve it. One would be cropping from the bottom. For me, this flat area down here doesn't go so well with the other things in the image. It's a little bit big for me, a little bit overwhelming, and I would just crop this if I was going to print it a little bit more square. I'd come up closer to the breaking wave so that this negative space shape at the bottom came a little, became a little bit longer and more elegant like some of the lines in the snag. And then the only other thing that I looked at was color in this image. And the really interesting thing is because of the fog and the way it's being backlit and how Thomas has shot this and, and, uh, and maybe worked it in Photoshop, you have a lot of yellow in the image, a lot of amber. And I tried to go in and add a little bit more cyan and blue, and the interesting thing is the image uh, didn't, didn't like that. And, uh, and so I'm just going to leave it the way it is from a color standpoint. There's something that's arresting about the color here uh, because it's a little bit different than what you would typically see uh, on a beach. There are not a lot of blues and there are not a lot of cyans anywhere, but I think uh, even with that being true, the color really gets your attention, particularly some of these browns close to the camera in the sand and the way that uh, part of the sand seems to be reflecting the real warm glow under the fog. I really like what Thomas has done here in terms of how all of his subjects seem to be uh, creating a really beautiful visual harmony with each other, real dramatic moment with the sun coming through the fog and a real overall classical layout in this landscape image that has a great feeling of depth and a lot of drama. And we want to thank Thomas for submitting this image to the Radiant Vista Daily Critique.